Dude, send me a WhatsApp text. It's in Hindi. It does work for Hindi. So there's a leak build of Google's new app, Reply, floating all over the internet. And for those who don't know, it's an AI-powered app that helps you to reply right from your notification. But what makes it different? Well, for starters, the replies are contextual and not predefined. If you have tried smart replies from Google Inbox or Gmail apps, you would know what I mean. The app is still in the beta mode, so you won't find it on Play Store. But we sideloaded the APK and here's what we think about it. First thing first, what makes Reply app work? Well, you will have to grant access to your Google account and it will personalize your response according to your taste. Also, make sure you allow Google to access your notification for it to work. Next, to set up the application, start adding your home and work addresses. So say if you get a text message saying where are you or when you will be home, the application can get your location from Google Maps and calculate the time. It also features the highly requested urgent mode, which lets the app play a loud alarm when it spots keywords like urgent, emergencies, etc. But as of now, it doesn't work though. Using your phone sensor, Reply can also tell if you're in a moving vehicle and then auto-respond accordingly. Another great feature of this app is its integration with other services like WhatsApp, Twitter, DM, Hangout and Slack. Since it's an all-in-one solution, you will have to install this application once and never have to open it again. But how exactly does it perform in day-to-day -day conversation? Well, let's find out. For simple yes and no reply, the app works fine. For example, if I get a message like hi, hello, movie tonight or if you're in the office, it will give a generic response like yes, no, which works in most of the situation. In my experience, the beta version didn't use the location yet and the smart replies weren't displayed immediately. We have to wait for the initial notification to be minimized. Though this would definitely be fixed once this app launches officially. But when the conversation gets more personal like where the keys are or what did you had for lunch, the app is not very useful, only for one reason. That is, it's meant for smart replies alone and not for having intelligent conversation. If people begin to use chatbots to do all the talking on their behalf, then what's the point of chatting in the first place? And Google understand that, which is why you can only send smart replies directly from your notification and not from within the messaging app. Overall, we are really impressed by this Google app. It already works for simple yes, no, when and where questions. And since it's AI driven, it's only bound to get better. But then again, it shouldn't get too personal or it will be just robots talking to robots.